This is a short movie showing Image Pro Premiere version 9.1 and how to set up the Data Collector feature. Data Collector is used to accumulate the data from multiple images in a single data table. In addition, it can collect either the raw or statistical data or both at the same time. For purposes of this video, I have already set up a method on how to segment and count my nuclei or objects of interest. To learn more about the count and size features, please see the re related videos on count and size. So at this point, I'm going to go to count and size, and I'm going to show you the images I have already counted. These are nuclei, and I already have count and size set up. In this case, I already have the types of measurements I would like to make. So this is all set up, ready to count, ready to go. And now I'm going to go to the measure tab, which is where data collector is located. In this case, this is data collector, and there's a number of tools here. One is I can collect the data from a counted image. I can also, there's a few special features here to count from all frames. If I was uh, doing a live streaming, we have certain features here that we can actually accumulate data from a live video. A few tools here is for turning on automatic collection to deleting counts. And the most important thing about Data Collector is setting up Data Collector and telling it what information to accumulate. We can accumulate data from a variety of sources, from all the measurement features, and also from the image within Data Collector. On the left side is just an example of all the data that we can keep track of. For example, I'm going to be using count size, so I'll use the measurements data. I can also accumulate statistics, a wide range of statistical data, and also the individual measurements or the raw data for each and every object. Here's just an example showing you some information that you can collect. What we're going to do is set up data collector and use a shortcut method on how to accumulate the data that I have set up in count size. So let me just clear this out for a second instead of having to um, go through each, each of these to, uh, providers to select the information that you're um, interested in. Let me clear that out again. Okay. In addition, we can also save our settings. So in this case, I want to save my table once I have it set up, and then I can use that over and over again. I can also uh, reload data tables. I can go in and uh, reload the individual ones I'm interested in. And this is very important if you're going to be using it mac for macros or in batch processing. We can reset the data table, which is the button I'm going to use in a moment. Again, we have a variety of data views here from the data table. We can look at individual block diagrams. In essence, looking if you're collecting data from multiple images, look at the individual images. We can plot the data. We can also look at histograms, scattergrams, and 3D views. All right, so let's go through and get this set up. I'm just going to go to one of my images. As I mentioned, I already had this set up in count size. I'm using smart segmentation to count my nuclei. And I'm just going to simply count. As you can see, I've counted my data. And I have my data here under measurement, my measurements table. Now, the important thing here is in the measure tab in Data Collector, what I want to do is clear all this data out, which I've done. If I want to, press the reset button. At that point, collect. What that is doing is not only collecting the data in uh, the data collector, which you can see here. Let me just pull this table up a little bit. I'm going to show it. You'll notice I have a measurements table and now my data collector table. I've actually automatically accumulated data in my data collector table, and I also have an image tabs uh, image table set up to show where the um, data is derived from. But the important thing is when I press this reset button and press count, what that did is automatically go out to count size and bring in the, those measurements. So it's already set up for you. Again, I can add or change this information. I can choose what information to show or not show by simply turning off these checkboxes. The important thing now is I want to save this. If I have this set up correctly, I want to simply save this table or this setup. In this case, I'm just going to give it, um, give it a name, call it Nuclei Data Collector. 
and then save that. And you'll see that it puts its own extension underneath it. All right, so now I've set up Data Collector, I'm ready to go. Let me show you a couple different ways about analyzing data. I'm going to clear all, clear all the data out. You can see it's now removed all the data from Data Collector. I still have data in my measurements table. I'll clear that out a second. And let's go to count size. So like I said, I've already, I've already set this up to collect data from images when I count them. There's a couple ways of doing this. One is I can simply go to an image, count it, You notice data collector has no data associated with it. And then I can go into my measure tab and then collect. I can go to my next image. Again, count it. Go into my measure tab, go in and collect the data again. And you'll notice as I do this in the data collector, it's showing me my first collection. And as I scroll down, let me bring that up so you can see that. You'll see I've collected data from a second image. There's also a simpler way to do this. I'm going to clear the data out again. You can automate this process. What I'm going to do is clear out all of my count nuclei or objects. And what I'm going to do is take advantage of the automatic collection. In this case, I have my measurements table set up, all the data I want to accumulate from each and every image that I count. But now I can turn on my automatic collection. And what this will do is every time I count an image, it will automatically bring the data into data collector. So in this case, I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to go to my first image. I'm just selecting it through the image strip here. And in count size, I am going to count. And as you notice, automatically, data tech collector is populated with the data from that image. I can go to my second image, count, and then finally go into my third image and count. At this point, I have all of my data from data collector from three images, and all I've had to do is simply press the count button by having the data collector set up for automatic collection. One important thing is when I'm done counting the images, typically I'll want to turn off automatic collection. So if I'm doing something else or counting other images or doing some other protocol, I'm not accumulating data into this data table. At this point in data collector, I can do a couple of things. Um, as I mentioned, this is now accumulate the data from all three images. I can export this data by simply going to Excel and there's Excel controls here about how to send this information to Excel. By pressing this button, it'll automatically export the data. I can choose to group the data in various ways. By class, in this case, I only have a single class of nuclei. If I had multiple classes of objects, positive, negative, I can set that up to um, display this all by the proper class. I can show various information in um, you know, averages, standard deviations for, for the various measurement parameters I've counted. And I can also, by pressing on the statistics button, show and hide the statistics panel, which will generate the statistics for all of the images together. So, I mean, that's a very, very powerful way of automating your processes. As I mentioned, this can actually be tied into batch processing under the automated tab, where if I'm automatically counting a folder of images, say 100 images there, I can automatically set this up to accumulate the data in data collector and then report out that data in format that I've set up. I'm going to clear out this data for a second. I'm going to go into types. Is There's a special feature in 9.1 that we've added is in the data collector we can now also accumulate statistics. If you're only interested in the statistics information from each image, number of objects, for example, uh, maybe uh, get the uh, mean of all the diameters or mean intensity of all the objects, instead of accumulating the raw data, if you have thousands of cells or objects or nuclei per image, I only want one line of data per image, I can easily set that up now. And by simply clearing this out, 
I can now go into Data Collector by choosing the Measurement Statistics. I can go in and select the parameters of interest. In this case, if I want to get the area, but maybe I want the mean area. So I can easily select that. In this case, I can select mean, add that, and you'll notice it's added to the measurement stats table, and it's called region area mean. And there's a wide variety of data and inputs I can select here. Maybe I want the count of all the objects per image. In this case, I can select count. Again, add that, and you'll notice it's saying region area mean, region area count. So this will give me the number of nuclei per image. Again, I can do this for other parameters that are appropriate. In this case, if I want the mean intensity, I can select that and simply choose, maybe I want the standard deviation per nuclei, and simply add that. Again, I can come back and save this table and open it for later use. For more information on Image Pro Premier or for Data Collector, please contact your local dealer or local sales office. Thank you.